Hey everyone, are you tired of struggling with complex, over-engineered frameworks like Crew AI and Autogen for your AI agent projects? Feeling overwhelmed by the steep learning curves and unexpected costs? Well, you're not alone. I spent countless hours experimenting with these fancy frameworks and I've come to the surprising conclusion. It's probably better for you to build your own custom agent rather than use one of the existing ones. We have tools like Claude 3.5 Sonnet that you can use to communicate what exactly do you want and it will write the entire framework for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I've developed a simple multi-agent framework using OpenAI's Assistant API, function calling, and a couple of external APIs. Now, don't worry, the code to this project will be available to you for free. The link to the Google Collaboratory Notebook is going to be in the description below. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'll also explain why I think it's better for you to develop your own custom agent framework rather than relying on existing ones, especially if you want to build products or put something out in front of businesses as a production level agent. Now, if you find this video helpful, give the video a thumbs up, comment about your experience developing AI agents, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, if you're serious about building AI agents, I have an AI agent accelerator program. Currently, it's at 80% discount. Lock in the prices today, and we'll see you in the accelerator. Now, now let's dive into the agent workflow. Now, now, before we dive into the Python code, I want to show you a very simple schematic diagram that illustrates the architecture of our multi-agent framework. At the core, we have a main assistant powered by OpenAI Assistant API. And then we have two functions. And this could be thought of as agents as well with specific tasks. We have a web search agent and we have a weather check agent. The web search is powered by Perplexity API to do the searches. And the weather check agent is powered by a weather API. So we're using some external APIs to call out these functions. And we also have an intermediary decision-making process. So the agent goes through a loop to determine if it needs more information. If it doesn't, it uh, goes back and sends the response to the user. Let me walk you through the Python code. So you're going to see how easy it is uh, with just a few lines of code to create your own multi-agent framework. And uh, you're going to wonder why you're not using this already. So we're going to use the weather API. This is a free API that uh, you can plug in the location or the city and you're going to get that current weather for that specific city. Uh, you can uh, get their API key from the website and then we're going to be using Perplexity API. So in Perplexity, as you know, it performs real time search and Perplexity can also break down searches into multiple search queries. So it helps you make efficient searches, get the right information that you need and bring it back. So it's going to save you a lot on those searches. Uh, once you get your, so you generate your API keys through the Perplexity interface. And the other thing we're going to use is the OpenAI Assistant API. And uh, you need to get the API keys for that as well. So when you have the API keys, you just plug it into the Google Collaboratory Notebook, which will be provided to you absolutely free. And uh, you're going to go ahead and install OpenAI. Okay, that's the only library you need uh, for this to work. No extra mumbo jumbo and you're going to be on your way to creating your multi-agent framework. I'm gonna walk you through the specific components of the code uh, in a little bit. I wanna quickly show you how this is going to work out. So we run the code. Now the assistant is ready. We can type exit to end the conversation. Now, so the multi-agents are generally good when you have multi-step queries. When we have to answer one question and then using the answer to that question, we have to answer another question. This is where it's generally good. We're going to tell the assistant what is the weather of the city where the next Olympics is going to be held. The assistant needs to determine because we have uh, prompted the assistant through this prompt. You are a coordinator for multiple specialized agents. Use the available functions to gather information and respond to user queries. For multi-step queries, break them down and use appropriate functions in sequence. Okay, so now the agent can actually plan this out, ask these specific things in sequence. So it's creating the uh, workflow for us. So for example, let's go ahead and ask, what is the city? What is the weather currently in the city where the next Olympic 
games will be held. As you can see, it's doing the searches and uh, it's determining the location of the city based on its search and then went off to call the API to get the weather of that city. And then the main assistant as assembles all the output from this function calls to now assemble the response coherently for the user. Okay, the current weather in Paris, where the next summer Olympic games will be held in 2024 is foggy with a temperature, blah, blah. As you can see in the answer, you could have context that the assistant actually went through the sequence to get that final answer. Let's go ask our agent, what is the weather for the next Spain versus Germany game for UEFA 2024? Again, it's searching online and it's calling the search query. The location has been determined. It's Stuttgart, Germany, and the current weather in Germany is sunny. So this is getting pulled from the weather API. And the assistant now takes those outputs, assembles to a response. Check this out. The current weather in Germany, where the UEFA Euro 2024 quarterfinal match between Spain and Germany, blah, blah, blah. However, please keep in mind that this today's weather and the weather forecast of the match may vary. This is exactly what we need. We need the multi-step sequences to get the final answer. We have the assistant determine all this for us, okay? How cool is that? Now, again, I encourage you to read through the OpenAI Assistant framework, understand exactly how this works, be familiar with the tools that are used, code interpreter, file search, and function calling. We're particularly using the function calling tool, and uh, you can think of that as mini agents or agents, however you can call it, but the agent, the primary assistant is smart enough to plan and call these functions and then loop through and rethink if it uh, if it was able to answer all these questions, etc. So uh, the problem is a lot of people actually do not know this resource, custom agents uh, using a combination of the function calling and external APIs with the OpenAI Assistant. And you could use Claude 3.5 Sonnet uh, to actually write an end-to-end -end custom uh, framework for your specific use case and not rely on over-engineered experimental frameworks that only work for specific use cases. It might not work for your specific use case, and uh, it would help if you brush up on a little bit Python apps and resources so you can learn Python and get familiar with the OpenAI documentation, and uh, you're all already there. All right, so let's walk you through the code, how exactly this works. This is a very small bit of code uh, that you can plug and play. Use it for your specific use case, right? We have the, this creates our assistant. And uh, if you're not familiar with the API documentation for OpenAI, all you have to go to the section under assistance where it says create assistant. Be, be familiar with the uh, functions that are used as well as the structure of the functions. Okay, so we include the instruction, name, tools, model. We go back here, we incorporated the name of the agent, the prompt or the instructions for the agent. We specified if you're using GPT-4 model, you could use GPT-0 for better performance. You could even use GPT-3.5 for to, to save on cost. And we specified the tools that uh, the agent will use. It's going to be web search and the get weather. So if you go back to the documentation under function calling, you'll notice there's a tool schema. Most of these things can be repurposed for other use cases. Uh, and you can even write your own schema for your own functions. But essentially, all you need is the name of the function, the description, and then uh, the parameters that are going to be used. And then you just specify this as such. And in our case, we're using the web search and the get weather function. And now we're actually defining the function, the web search function. This is the schema provided by Perplexity API to create your search function. You can specify the model that you're going to use. We are using the Llama 3 Sonar online model. Llama 3 is open source model, but when it says online, that means it's search capable. So Perplexity provides search capable models that are up to date and um, can do searches like Google search, etc. And uh, you can specify the prompt for that. Uh, function as well. So think of it as an assistant, right? Working for you, doing the parallel searches, assembling all that response, etc. Now we have the get weather function and the get weather function is also pretty straightforward. We're just using a request to send a request to this URL with the API key and then the location. And we're going to get the weather for that location. Okay. And then we create a chat interaction function. It's basically uh, providing all the details needed to make those function calls and interact with the user, etc. cetera. Uh, it's pretty basic and you can repurpose this for other assistant projects as well. And the only thing that makes this different is that we put this assistant in a loop, right? You'll notice we have a while loop. After we initiated the assistant, we start with a while loop and the assistant just 
answers the question, does all the function calls, and then loops back and uh, thinks about the decision that it made and whether it answered every queries, it was able to solve the problem. And if it has determined it, it did solve the problem, it's going to go back and uh, break the loop and give user back the answer. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward, uh, nothing complex, no hidden prompts. And uh, to recap the looping decision making process, receive query, create initial plan. Okay, that's what the agent is doing. Decide if it needs more information, call appropriate function, reassess with new information. That's the purpose of the loop and uh, respond or loop back for more info. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot of benefits of using your custom framework because our framework is easy to understand and modify. It's simple. You have full control over every aspect. It's cost effective. You can use GPT 3.5 to cut down on the uh, assistant costs and you're using Perplex API, which really combines the multiple search capabilities uh, and then also makes your searches efficient. Uh, you have customization. You can tailor every prompt and every function to your specific use case. And also building this yourself gives you a deep understanding of how AI agents work. So you're not relying on other people's solution or other people's frameworks uh, for other use cases. You're actually using it for your specific use cases. And again, like I mentioned, you can use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, help you understand, uh, turn your assistance into a solid framework, but you have to understand how to create one agent. And that's why I created a program for you. It will help you turn your automations to GPT, your GPTs to agents, and your agents to multi-agents. So you have a step-by-step -step process. Don't work backwards, work the easy way, and uh, you're going to save a lot of time. And you can scale. You can put this in front of businesses. You can use a slick interface, and uh, it's already production ready. The future is uncertain because GPT-5 is on the horizon, potentially offering autonomous multi-agent capabilities out of the box. Many are hesitant to invest in current solutions. But here's the thing, waiting is not an option. The businesses that start implementing AI agents now will have an advantage when GPT-5 does arrive. We are introducing the AI agent Custom GPT Accelerator. This is where I come in. I developed a comprehensive program called Unleash Your AI Agent, where you can take your prompt to a complete end-to-end -end product in 10 days. Okay, we're going to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet to develop AI agent SaaS, your own database, your own rules. And we're going to use the OpenAI Assistant framework. This is perfect for GPT builders who are building GPTs already uh, and automation wizards who have a lot of intelligent automations but want to integrate this nicely to an agentic framework so you can safely transition to this kind of system. And again, as a data scientist with over a decade of experience in machine learning and AI development, I can tailor the content to your technical level, whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced developer. So if you don't know how to code, we can start with a custom GPT and help you understand how you can use low code systems to quickly turn this into a product. Okay. And with my guidance, you can make your dreams into a reality and unleash the full potential of your AI agent. And so we are offering 80% off to early members. They're going to get a lot of benefits, including the unleash your AI agent course. We will also guide you to the creation of your first AI agent or your product, etc. Uh, so make sure you send me a message so I can get you in and uh, get you started in your journey. Again, building your own multi-agent framework doesn't have to be complicated as we've seen a few lines of python code you can create a powerful flexible system that's tailored for your needs don't let complexity and marketing of existing frameworks intimidate you start simple build your own and expand as you go you learn more have more control and probably save money in the process so break through the matrix break through your limiting beliefs now if you found this helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe share your experience building your own AI agents. And also don't forget to share with your friends, spread the message so you can also help them unleash the full potential of their AI agents. Now, thanks for watching GPT Pioneers. Let's go.